Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, possible term symbols. Possible term symbols. So in previous lectures we are discussing about microstates. Uh, that means uh, the number of possible arrangements of electrons in the orbital. Again the ground term symbol which is present at the lowest uh, state. Uh, that symbol which represents the ground term ground term of the certain electronic configuration now here so how many possible term symbols having the different different uh, electronic systems now let us take the d2 electronic system d2 electronic system it having the 45 microstates we are already discussed the 45 microstates now next uh, this ground term symbol is nothing but a 3f it is a term not a to complete term symbol it is a term okay so in 45 term symbols we have the microstate formula now we will get the 21 only so 3f having only 21 3f having only 21 so what are those remaining 24 microstates okay so which symbols are represented uh, by the remaining 24 microstates now let us go through the very simple and clear cut explanation about a uh, clubs doran series of uh, possible term symbols so possible term symbols now we'll go through the P2 configuration. I'll use each and every 24 microstate with a symbol. Okay. Now let us go through the P2 configuration. Very easier. So now according to Klebs Godan series, Klebs Godan definition. So the possible L values are L1 plus L2 for two electronic system. L1 plus L2, L1 plus L2 minus 1, L1 plus L2, and so on, L1 minus L2 here minus 2 l1 minus l2 so now we will get the several values okay so now l1 is the first electronic magnitude value l2 is a second electronic magnitude magnitude value so l1 plus l2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 which indicates there is no fractional values like a 1.5 1.2 it is not possible now we will get the higher value minus 1 minus 2 until 0 minus 1 minus 2 until 0 now let us go through the uh, some of the uh, like a uh, examples now we will get the three value three that means three two one zero now let us go through the some value four four three two one zero now l1 plus l2 is equal to two two one zero these are the possible l values these are the possible value l values for two electronic system now we'll go through the uh, certain examples which is nothing but a p2 configuration p2 configuration so here the magnitude value of p2 three orbitals are there zero plus one plus two so now two electrons, maybe the highest, which is the highest magnitude value for possibility of a P2 is 1 into plus 1 plus 1 into plus 1. Okay. So these are the 1 plus 1, 2. The highest magnitude value for the P2 configuration is 2. So now highest value 2 means the lower remaining ones are 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 2. Okay. So these are the possibilities 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0. Let us assume the configurations may be possibility. Here one electron, here one electron. Okay. So now if L is equal to 1 means one electron, one electron. L is equal to 1 means one electron, one electron. Now here L is equal to 0 means so both electrons over the present over the zero state that means zero magnitude value or one is present over there one is present opposite spin okay those are not possible that's why we will take the two electrons in the same ml value is zero okay here ml value is plus one minus one zero plus one minus one zero plus one minus one okay now here the spin multiplicity is nothing but number of unpaid electrons number of unpaid electrons plus one if there is no unpaid electrons that's why zero plus one one now here two unpaid electrons two plus one three so the multiplicity is triplet now here zero unpaid electron the multiplicity is one multiplicity is one now we'll go through the term now we will go through the term. So if L value is equal to 0, we have discussed in the previous class 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, S, P, D, F, G, H, except J, except J. So now L value is equal to 2, the term is D. The term is D. So spin multiplicity is 1. Spin multiplicity is 1. Now again L is equal to 1 means the term is P. Spin multiplicity is 3. Spin multiplicity is 3. Now L is equal to 0, then the term is yes, spin multiplicity 1. Okay, in P2 configuration, the possible term symbols, the possible terms are D1, 3P, 1S. 
these are the possible term symbols so whether it is right or wrong we don't know okay so let us check with the microstate possible the number of microstates okay now here the p2 microstates is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial that means we will get the 15 so otherwise i will solve it 6 factorial by 6 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial that means 6 into 5 into 4 factorial by 4 factorial into 2 into 1 so 4 factorial 4 factorial cancel 2 3 are 3 5 are 15 okay here the, these are the possible microstates are 15 now let us solve the remaining ones 3p so whenever they are given in the terms so the calculation of microstate i will give the link over there I will solve the, this type of examples, uh, many more examples. Now here, the formula is 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1. Here, 2s plus 1 is 3. 2 into l value for p is 1. 2 into 1 plus 1. That means 2 1s are 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 3 is a 9. Now, d1. 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1. That means 5. Now, s1. 1 into 2 into 0 plus 1. Here, that means 1. So the total number is 15 okay so now we will get the total number which is equal to the number of microstates so the possible terms of uh, p2 configuration is uh, 3p 1d 1s 3p 1d 1s now let us go through the second example d2 after the second example among these three which one is ground term symbol how do you find the ground term symbol with many configurations okay now we'll go through the second example that is d2 after that we will solve the sum of the <coughs> possibilities okay now the d2 configuration so very easier so which is nothing but uh, like a uh, clips and go down series Now we'll go through the second example d2 configuration that means here the possibility of ml values 0 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 here two electrons may be presented the magnitude l value is 2 plus 2 now the highest l value is equal to 2 plus 2 that means 4 okay so that means here the electron is there the angular momentum 2 plus 2 that means here over there 2 plus 1 next 3 then it is 2 minus 1 0 so this is the angular spin angular momentum of according to russell sanders coupling now here 4 l is equal to 4 3 2 1 0 so these are the possibilities okay let us take through the some of the spin angular momentum values now the highest value is 4 then after so the remaining one 3 2 1 0 we didn't get the no, fractional values that's why i will minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 subtracting the minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 etc so now here l is equal to 4 then the possibility of configurations here the two electrons present over there now here one electron another electron l is equal to 2 now here two electrons present over there okay now here one electron one electron here two electrons present over there so i will follow the a certain rule to uh, to filling the electrons with the different values now the first one two next first one second one again second one paid here so next uh, next the second orbital third orbital next third uh, second orbital electron paid over the third one okay now the spin multiplicity values spin multiplicity values so here there is no unpaid electron that means one here two unpaid electrons that means three zero unpaid electrons one two unpaid electrons three now here zero unpaid electrons one okay now let us solve the ground term symbols ground term symbol now here okay now here l is equal to 4 that means the symbol is z z1 now l is equal to 3 that means the symbol is f 3 f now l is equal to 2 that means the symbol is d 2 d sorry 1 d okay now l is equal to 1 that means the symbol is p 3 p l is equal to 1 that means the symbol is yes 0 sorry here one yes one yes the possibility term symbols for d values are one z three f one d on the three p one s 
3p and 1s. These, for, uh, these five term symbols are possible for the D2 configuration. Now let us solve the, let us check the whether these five are satisfied the 45 microstates or not. Okay. Now check the all the terms with microstate formula. It's microstate formula. Now here the first one is Z1. 2s plus 1 into 2s 2l plus 1 this is the microstate formula for the electronic uh, terms okay ground terms now here 1g not the ground terms it is a term so here 1 into i will solve this 1 into 2 into g value for 4 2 4 is 8 8 plus 1 9 9 into 1 9 1 into 9 that means uh, you the 9 term symbols now the next one is a 3f that means a 3 into 2 into 3 plus 1, 2 3 is a 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 9, 3, sorry, 2 3 is a 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 3 is a 21, okay, I did a mistake. Now, the next one is a D, that means 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1, 2 2 is a 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 into 1, 5. Now, the next one is a 3P, now here, 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1, 2 1 is a 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 3 is a 9. Now the final one is 1, yes. So 1 into 2 into 0 plus 1, that means 1 into 1, here is 1. Okay, let us solve. 9, 1, 10, 15, 25. So 45. Okay, now we will get the 45 microstates. Okay, so this, this is the very easier trick for predicting the uh, possible term symbols of uh, the electronic configuration. The electronic configuration. I think uh, I solved the uh, previous year uh, CSIR examples. In case, in, uh, in previous case, uh, P2 configuration, we will get the 3P, D1, S1. These are the microstates. They are given in the D1, S1 terms. Uh, predict the uh, exp uh, like. Uh, predict the remaining term in p2 configuration they are given in the several terms among the one among the four which one is a remaining electronic term symbol of a p2 configuration they are given in the such type of questions okay now we have the 45 microstates in in this case 3f case only 21 microstates so the remaining places are z1 is 9 d1 is 9, 5 3p is 9 1s is 1 1s is 1 among the 45 microstates only one is the ground term symbol okay so uh, it is interesting one oh, why because so so many energy levels are there but uh, lowest one is called ground term symbol lowest one is called ground term symbol that's why among the four among the these 45 only one is called ground term symbol okay so how do you find the ground term symbol with the help of Hunt's selection rule now we find the ground term symbol with the help of Hunt's selection rule before going to the Hunt's selection rule now I, I would like to check the possible j values with a 3f terms so 21 how it is possible 21 term symbols in case of 3f only okay so take a screenshot up i will rough over there Okay, so these are the possible terms 3f, 3p, 1g, 1d, 1s. So these five are D2 configuration possible terms. So in 3f case only 21 terms are there. This is the previous CSIR question. I think I, I will give the link over there. So which is in microstates. Okay, so 21, how how, how it is uh, uh, split into 21 microstates? That means how it having the 21 energy levels. Now let us solve the... 3f here something is there that is called j so now we will go through the possible j values possible j values okay so the possible j values is nothing but 2s plus 1 this is the formula whenever l value is greater than s this formula is applicable only l is greater than s cases l is greater than s cases now here so in 3f case 3f case so here 3 of case here l is equal to f means 3 l is equal to f means 3 spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3 that means uh, 2s is equal to 2s is equal to 1 okay here's s value is equal to 1 spin is equal to 1 so now here l is equal to 3 s is equal to 1 l is greater than s now we will go through the our possible term symbols now here the possible j values are 2s plus 1 2s plus 1 2 into s means 1 plus 1 here three possible j values are the three possible j values so our j values always must always lies between l plus s to l minus s l plus s to l minus s here three values means one is l plus s 
another one is L plus S minus 1, another one is L minus S. So these are the possible. So L plus S, L plus S is first one, L minus S is the second one. Okay, L, L minus S is the last one. So the remaining one is the third one, which is nothing but L plus S minus 1. Okay, so the possible J values are L plus S. That means uh, 3 plus 1, next one, 3 plus 1 minus 1, 3 minus 1. Here 4, 3, 2. So, 3 possible J values are there. One is 4, 3, 2. 4, 3, 2. Now, the possible term symbols 3F4, 3F3, 3, 3F2. 3, 3F4, 3F3, 3F2. Among these three, we, among these three, we having the 21 microstates. Whether it is right or wrong, let us check. Okay. In case of uh, microstate, uh, total ground term symbols are there. Micro, possible microstate formula is 2J plus 1. 2J plus 1. Now here, J is equal to 4. 2, 4 plus 1. 2 into 4. 2, 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Here, 2, 3 is a plus 1. 6 plus 1, 7. Now here, 2, 2 is a plus 1. That means 5. Now, 9 plus 7, 16, 16 plus 5, 21. So, here, which, which matches with the all possible 21 term symbols, all possible 21 term symbols. Now, here, so these having the three types of uh, symbols. Again, which term symbols contains uh, seven microstates? Which term symbol contains uh, seven, sorry, it contains nine, nine energy levels, uh, seven energy levels, and uh, five energy levels. All together, 21, which matches with uh, three of 21 microstates. 3 of 21 microstate. Among the 45 microstates, only one is the ground term symbol. So, how do you find the ground term symbols with the help of Holmes selection rule? Now, we'll go through the Holmes selection rules. Holmes selection rules. Holmes selection rules. Okay, now the first one, so here Holmes rules which contains uh, three formulas, very easier. So uh, uh, in D2 configuration, so here 3F, 3P, 1G, 1D, 1S. These are the possible terms. These are the possible terms. Now here, in case of different, different spin multiplicities are present, spin multiplicities are present okay now the highest multiplicity value highest multiplicity has taken ground term symbol gts means ground term symbol i will go through the simple the shortcuts okay so now different spin multiplicities are there if present then highest multiplicities are the ground term symbols so among these three these five so the highest multiplicity is three so that's why now we will check the, uh, select the 3f and 3p or microstates 3f and 3p are the ground term symbols now here two ground term symbols are possible how it is okay so two ground term symbols that means um, uh, only one is the ground term symbol uh, so again it requires uh, some of the clarification now the second rule it clarifies that uh, if same <laughs> Multiplicity different uh, L values are there, different L values are present. Then, like a uh, highest L value, highest L value taken as ground term symbol. Okay, so L, F value, L is equal to 3, P value, L is equal to 1. So, among these two, so highest L value is nothing but 3F. Highest L value is nothing but 3F. In 3F cases, we have the terms which are previously solved it as 3F4, 3F2, 3F, sorry, 3F3, 3F2, 3F3, 3F2. So, the third case is here same J values, same, sorry, multiplicities as well as same L values, but different J values are present. But different J values are there. Now here two cases are arised. One is equal to lowest J value, lowest J value as a ground term symbol in case less than half a field. In case less than half a field. Or second case, highest J value as ground term symbol in more than half a field case. More than of a filled case okay now here d2 configuration means uh, one two three four here one electron two electrons see it is less than half filled so the lowest 
lowest j value is 3f2 this is the ground term symbol this is the ground term symbol now let us uh, check the this ground term symbol with our previous lecture ground term symbol prediction ground term symbol prediction now here two electrons are there l is equal to 3 <laughs> L is equal to 3, that means term is F, then B is equal to number of unpaid electrons, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3F, three so then C is equal to J is equal to L minus S for less than half of failure. So L is equal to 3, S is equal to 1, 3 minus 1, 2, so the term is 3F2. Okay, this is the prediction. Now we will get a 3F2. So this manner we will find the ground term symbols of any electronic configuration. Okay, now I will show you some of the possible electronic term symbols from D1 to D9. Okay, now we will get the some of the information through the previous year problems. Now let us solve some of the previous year CSI problems. Okay, now the first one is possible J values for the D3. The term D3, 3D. Okay. The possible J values formula is 2s plus 1 whenever L is greater than S. Let us check whether L is greater than S or not. So L is equal to 2, S is equal to 1. So L is greater than S. For the 3D term, D means L value 2, spin multiplicity 3 means S is equal to 1. Now L is greater than 1, our formula is obeyed. Okay. J is equal to 2 into S means 1 plus 1, this is a 3. Here S is equal to spin multiplicity, spin, mul sorry, S is equal to spin, 2S plus 1 is equal to 3, that means S is equal to 1. Okay. We are already calculated in our previous cases. So J values are 3 possible. Possible J values are 3. It may be asked another way, they, if they are asked, what are the possible term symbols? So now here J values always lies between L plus S2, L minus S. Here three terms means middle one is there, L plus S minus 1. So here L plus 1, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1. That means 3, 2, 1. So those possible terms are 3D3, 3D2, 3D1. These are the possible term symbols for uh, J value 3D term. Now let us solve the another problem. <laughs> let us solve this second question. That is a possible term symbol for the excited state of sodium. Here 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 is a ground state. Then it excited state means 3s after 3p is 0. Whenever it is excited to the 3s2, 3p. Now the configuration is 3p1, 2p6, 2p6, 3p1. Now let us solve the, uh, let us identify the ground term symbol for 3p1 electron. So here L is equal to 1, the term is P. So here N plus 1 is equal to 2, that means uh, term is 2P. So the possible term symbol, they are asking about possible term symbol especially. That may, that's why, so JR is equal to L plus S and L minus S. L plus S and L minus S. Now here L is equal to 1, S is equal to half 1 electron, that's why it is half. So L is equal to 1, 1 plus half and Another value is 1 minus half. So 1 plus half means LCM 3 by 2 here 1 by 2. So those are possible terms are 2P 3 by 2 and 2P 1 by 2. 2P 3 by 2 and 2P 1 by 2. Option number B is correct. Option number B is correct. <coughs> now let us solve the now let us solve the third problem which is given in 2017 June. So now 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So the possible term symbols are three. Among these three, uh, those two they are given in the two values. Now the remaining one is so the remaining one here. This, this is such type of questions we will solve the two methods. So now the first one is microstate method. First one is microstate method. P4 configuration means six factorial by six minus four factorial into four factorial. That means six into five into four factorial by two factorial into four factorial. Here four four cancel two factorial means two threes are so 15, 15 microstates are possible. Now we are we are follow the P n that means P six minus n formula. So here P two and as well as P four is same. P two and P four is same. So here now we will get the P four configuration fifteen microstates. And now here we have the two terms. One is a one s one three p. So here the possible terms uh, microstate formula is two s plus one two l plus one. Now here so two s plus one is one two l plus one two into zero plus one. That means here only one term. In case of three p is two into three into like a 2 into p value for 1 plus 1. Now here 3 into 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1, 3. 3, 3 is a 9. Now we will get the 10 microstates. The remaining term having the 5 microstate. Let us check 5 microstate formula. Now here 1 D. That means a 2 S plus 1 into 2 L plus 1 formula. 2 L plus 1 formula. Here 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1. So here 2 2 is a 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So our option is first one only. Let us check the remaining one. 1F means 1 into 
2 into 3 plus 1. That means 2 3 is a 6, 6 plus 1 7, 7 1 is a 7. So it is wrong answer. Okay, it is wrong answer. Now the, the term 3f we are already discussed because it is 21. Now the term 3d is equal to 3 into 2 into 2 plus 1. That means uh, 2 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 5, 5 3 is 15. Okay, remaining all are wrong answers, but uh, option A having the first uh, 5 microstates, that's why it is correct. Okay, now the second method. Second method. So this method having the uh, uh, this lecture starting one. So now P4 is equal to the P2 configuration. Now P2 configuration we are follows the like a two one zero here. The terms are D P yes. So electronic spin methods are D1 S1. We are already discussed in this video starting lecture. Okay, in this video starting one. Okay, so here we are getting the terms D1 1D 3P 1S. Now here. The D1 is answer. Both the both the methods we will get the only answer is D1. So option is A. Now the final question is degeneracy of ground state uh, terms ground term symbols for cobalt 2 high spin octahedral complexes. Cobalt 2 that means uh, here D7 complexes. So here they are given in the weak field information. They are given in the ligand information is weak field. That's why 1, 2, 3, 4th and 5th electrons are jumped to the EG level. Then 6th, 7th are oriented like here. So 2 into plus 2 plus 2 into plus 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 into minus 2. Now here 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus minus 1 minus 2. That means 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Now we will get the <coughs> L value is equal to 3. That means uh, term is F term is f now this term having the f term so the multiplicity is 1 2 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 f having the how many degeneracy that means how many microstates they are given in the very large large question okay the they are given <coughs> okay in, in this question they are given the information for uh, elaborating questions okay this question has a, a lengthy lengthy question for the uh, basic learners. Now here 4F term, 4F term microstates are 2S plus 1 into 2L plus 1. So now here the micro uh, 2S plus 1 is 4, then L plus 1 is equal to 2 into 3 into plus 1. So 4 into 2, 3 is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 4, 7 is 28, 4, 7 is 28. Now we will get the micro degeneracy is equal to 28. Okay, these are the previous CSIR problems. If it, if there is any possibility, I will make the another video on these questions uh, as well as the gate questions very soon. Okay, thank you for watching.